Tim, one of the things that um, more than keeps me amused, but something that is, is, is almost a compulsion, is to think of the uh, ultimate kinds of questions. What are the questions that I find most uh, probing of the, the nature of reality? And I'd uh, um, like to explore different things. Uh, you've, uh, some of your work is focused on the nature of time. Mm -hmm. And um, time in two senses, uh, time as, as real and flowing, which is uh, perhaps uh, not, the, uh, not the growing mainstream among many uh, physicists. Um, and then the uh, so-called block universe in general relativity uh, and special relativity uh, of, uh, of Einstein, where time looks like it's part of a space-time continuing continuum and, and every um, moment in the past and the future is, in, a, in some sense, just as real as the present. So, mm -hmm. uh, with those two concepts, what, what, what are the deep questions that you have by viewing each of those independently and then putting them together? So let me start with the block universe, because um, I certainly believe in what you just, the way you characterize the block universe, I think everybody does. We're the people who lived in the, uh, on Crete here, 4,000 years ago, just as real as we are. Sure, they had lives, they had pains, they had joys. Um, they were just as real human beings as we are, and our great-great-great-great-grandchildren will be just as real as we are. So the total of reality, the sum total of everything real, includes a past, it, it includes a future, it includes what's going on now, and you put all that together and you get a kind of four-dimensional object that we call space-time. So I don't think that that being committed to that is at all controversial. It would be controversial to deny it. Well, for, for sure that's the case, but I think you're giving a very commonsensical point of view, which I certainly agree with, but I think the, the view of, of many is, uh, is uh, stronger than that regarding a block universe, and, and you could probably articulate better than I, but in some in some real sense, those past and future, the people on Crete 4,000 years ago and our great-great-grandchildren mm -hmm. are in some sense just as real as we are in the sense that they are, they are equa uh, existing in, in some kind of a, uh, a, a higher dimensional now. No, they don't exist now. I mean, that's the, that's the place it? you could make, a, make, make an error and you say, do the Cretans, do the ancient Cretans exist now? No, of course they don't. They existed a long time ago. No, but, but, do my great-grandchildren exist now? No, of course not. They exist, right. they, they will exist. Right, again, um, that's very, very, very commonsensical. But yeah. the, the view of, I believe, of many is that it, 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 there is a sense of now in some higher dimensional sense in which things in the past, things in the future are just as, as uh, equa present as, as our current now. So I, this I don't understand, and I don't understand what this higher dimension is supposed to be. Um, I think that this four-dimensional thing is the to sum total of reality. Uh, people talk about the block universe in a way their language presupposes there's yet another time, a hyper time. Yeah. Uh, for example, people say, oh, the block universe is frozen or static. Yeah. What is something for it to be static? It's for it to remain unchanging as time passes. But the block universe well, isn't time, in time. Time would then be a path through that block universe. Right, but the, the, the whole block is not in time. It doesn't either change no. with time or not change with time. Right. Time is in it. That's right. Right, it's that's not right. in time. Time is in that's it. Right. That's right. That's, that, that, I think that defends the opposite point of view, doesn't it? No. What... what what, uh, well, if, if time is in it, yeah. then you can move in time through it, but sure. it's all existing in, in some uh, equal sense at, at the same moment or at the same metaphysical now. Well, again, I don't understand what a metaphysical... I, I, I know how <laughs> I, to use I, the word I, I now in everyday life. I, I, right, I, I, I don't I know. know what a metaphysical now is. Okay, it's well, all equally I, I, real. I, I'm kind of making it up. <laughs> yeah. Well, because then you have to tell me what it means. I'm kind of making it up, trying to articulate what I think many people believe. Maybe I should ask you, what, what do your colleagues believe, uh, who are physicists or who are philosophers of physics, who believe in some fundamental reality of, mm -hmm. of, of the blocking? What do, what do they believe? Tell, tell me 
what well, look, I think a lot of them say they believe in a block universe, which I, as I say, in the sense that I just articulated, I too. agree in. Right, so right. I don't disagree with them about that. Yeah, but they a think something follows be, be from fair. that about, yeah. right, right. about the illusoriness of time or that time doesn't pass or things don't really change. And I think that's nonsense. I say, of course things change. So, but, but you're using the block universe in a... Um, in sort of, not metaphorical sense, but in a very commonsensical sense. We, we, uh, it's not I'm a criticism. A, I'm a commonsensical guy. <laughs> it's, not, it's not a criticism, but it, it, it basically uh, says that, um, that uh, those who believe in, in a stronger version of it would say that you, you're, you're missing the fundamental change that that is bringing, um, which equates all events that we think are a flow of time which actually all exist at the with the same level of uh, of, of of metaphysical presence uh, yeah we're back to the metaphysical now and metaphysical presence and yeah. i just I'm trying if, to if they can explain word. to me what they mean i i don't even know whether i agree or disagree i don't understand what they're saying do they have you what do they say when, when you when you push them on that um look lots of people think and this seems to me completely separable from issues about the block universe, that there is no fundamental directionality to time. And if there were no fundamental directionality to time, then it would not be correct to say that time passes because that's a fundamentally asymmetric thing. It passes right. from past to future. Right. It's related, it's, but not the it's, same it's question. unlike right. space, where there's no fundamental directionality, right? Space doesn't go from north to south rather than south to north, right, right. okay? There's no fundamental directionality right. to space. Right. There is a fundamental directionality to time. They think that Accepting a block universe implies accepting that there's no fundamental directionality to time, and I just disagree. I don't see there's any conflict between those two. Uh, 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 because, and, then, and the reason you see no conflict is that your block universe is block universe weak, uh, bo bo block universe light. Well, I, I, it, <laughs> Hugh Price in his book actually has a paragraph where he says, here's what it is to believe in a block universe, and it has these two features to it. Yeah. They're logically unrelated to each other. Yeah. Feature one, which is the one I agree to, I agree to, and I call that a block universe. Then he just adds, oh, and in addition, you have to believe there's no direction to time. And I say, well, no, I get off the bus there. So I, I don't understand why time not having a direction should be part of the concept of a block universe. But, you know, this is now just words, as long as it's clear what they believe and what I deny.